guys, welcome back to the Comic Book Core. We're your hosts. I'm Karosh. I'm Briston. I'm Ken. And we'll be reviewing a few of our favorite comics this week. We got Action Comics 890. We got Invincible Iron Man, the annual issue. And Turf, issue number two for Ken. Uh, let's start things off with Invincible Iron Man. Oh, yeah. Well, all I can say is this is really, really refreshing, in my opinion, guys. Um, this issue is all about Mandarin. Like, we get bare mentions about Tony. Like, maybe two panels, that's about it. Yeah, it was, it was Matt Fraction's uh, introduction of Mandarin into current continuity and everything. And, um... Really, really interesting, at least, in my yeah, opinion. I, I, my opinion <laughs> vastly differs. Uh, I think Mandarin <laughs> is one of the worst uh, directors, based on this book, no. uh, in film ever. I don't think I'd watch any of his movies, even at the Dollar Theater on us. Um, Download them, people. <laughs> Uh, this is my first actually take on Mandarin. I've I've heard that he's like close to like you know being rival, like his arch rival Tony's arch rival. And from this alone, I didn't get much of a sense of that. Well, I don't know. For me, I've read about him on Wiki. I've seen the animated series, the old one ninety four, right? And that's my only familiarity with Mandarin aside from Android Mandarin and all that stuff. But to me, I, it was like interesting to see how like sadistic Mandarin could be. I always thought he was more of a power player, and not really. A yes, mind guy, so making evil movies for you to watch. <laughs> Clearly, a genius of the highest <laughs> stature. I don't know, Ken. What do you think? Uh, I was just saying earlier, uh, it, it, it does have kind of a different kind of ending. You kind of expect. It feels like in any movie in that where you're like, oh, that's ending. Oh, and yeah, that's what's left with. It was. It was a bit of a downer, I guess. Um, I mean, that, that that was a key point to me too. It was refreshing in the sense that. It was a twist, not a twist, but it was yeah. just twisted. The basic premise was he steals this famous, well-known director because he wants someone to direct the life of uh, the, the story of his life. And so as the story goes on, the director feels the limitations of Mandarin because he's evil and everything. And um, I felt reading this, I felt you know I was in the same boat as the the, the director. director. I was very crew. frustrated reading it because you know he's trying to do one thing, direct, oh. the Mandarin stops him. Tries to do another thing, Mandarin stops him. He can't do anything. So well, not just that, but like. It, it just grants him more, like, the sadisticness, I guess. Well, you guys read and you'll see what I mean. Um, but it's just, like, refreshing in the sense that we're no longer given these Hollywood endings or Disney endings or whatever. No more. It's, like, a happy... This issue ends... I like Disney. ...really, really <laughs> horribly, in a What's sense. What's Disney, Bristol? Seriously. I think you had a whole I movie night of just Disney. Disney. <laughs> you had a whole movie night of it. <laughs> yeah. <Okay>. I digress. <laughs> Regardless, this is, yeah, this is an annual. It's a $5... I don't recommend it. I think your money could be better spent on other books. But, um, that's my... I give it a, a, a grade this time. I'm going to be going with a, a C. A C? Yeah, I'm changing up my rating. Um, I've been throwing it up in the air. I'm going to give this a 3 out of 5, guys. Check it out. Okay. I was going to give it a 2 out of 5. I It's hard to say. I definitely do want to see how they presented it on the iPod. The iPad and the iPod is in with the individual formatting as opposed to just one lump sum. If you buy it all at once, it's more than this, which is what they're doing to offset the cost versus buying it in print. I'd like to see how they do it with that, but really that's the only thing interesting about this book to me. I mean, I, I hadn't seen this, the origin that much, so yeah. okay, maybe that. All right, moving on to the next book. We got another villain for you. Uh, we got Action Comics with now starring Lex Luthor. Um, Paul Cornell writes this. I've not been too familiar with him, but I love what he started out with doing here. Pete Wood drawing, loved it. Um, pretty much you see Luther not so much obsessed with kryptonite or anything Superman related. He's he's got a power he got a power ring and he lost it and now he really wants one again. So you get to see him his quest begin. Uh, what'd you guys think? All I can say is Lois. I mean the the first thing that I I haven't read any of the More Superman's than meets one. the eye. <laughs> you could say that much. <laughs> but um, <laughs> the when we cut we come into this like, the first thing you see is with him and Lois, and I'm like, wait, Lois? Yeah, I was a bit thrown off, too. I haven't been following uh, much of the new Krypton it, stuff, the stuff leading in. It threw me off completely, and then when you keep on going, and you realize what the real thing was, like, uh, okay, I, I, I started to understand, which was awesome, and I love this Lois. You'll understand what I mean. Yeah, it has, see it. it has a pretty cool cliffhanger. <laughs> Ken, what'd you think? Um, it, takes a, it seems, not to knock Paul Cornell, but it seems to take a lot from the... Uh, Lee Bajermo story with uh, not Lee Bajermo. That's the artist. The writer is Brian Azzarello. Oh where yeah. It paints him as the the, the, hero. the hero of the story. Which is interesting too. Is they actually used the the logo for Lex Luthor for this one too. Yeah, they do. But that one was done so well. I mean, maybe because it is a self, uh, self contained story, it's a lot easier to just like it's done in that those four issues. That one 
pays off a lot quicker, and you see a much a much more well developed character. But it's because you just have a short time to get it. With this one, you it's the introdu introduction to it. You're you're just starting to get that. Um, I'll be interested to see where he goes, where he might have gone on a different tangent than um, Brendan Azarella might have. But I, I like it so far. But still, like it's the other one's still better. Yeah, we'll see where this goes. I like that he's a little bit eccentric, a little bit zany. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's the rings effect on him or if he's just like turned a new color. But it's nice to see him uh, after something besides Superman or defeating Superman. And seeing how far he goes with it too. I mean, the lengths that he goes and mess with other people too. Yeah, he's really easily ticked <laughs> off in this. Um, don't work for Lex. I wouldn't. I would highly advise don't. not being employed by that man. Um, fun stuff for me. I give it a solid uh, A. I, I, it's a four dollar price tag, but it gives you uh, extra content in this. It is. Um, pick up. I'm gonna give it a four out of five, guys. Pick it up. It's great. Okay. I'm probably going with a four out of five. Two fours. All right, and next we're gonna go with uh, with turf number two. Got that coming in this week. Um, this one was the final. They finally t started bringing some of the um, the aliens into this issue, and they actually did it. It's really good. It's still like like um, crocheted last time. Still very grounded, very um, doesn't take two out. Actually, it does actually mention Al Capone. Oh really? They make a mention of that. He's not, he's not in it, but they do make reference to him, which I thought was like, since they didn't bring him in, it's better for now. Like, for now, yes. <laughs> but they, they make mention of they at least like you know that's cool. establish that's the universe they're in. Okay. Um, as the, the the aliens do show up in this issue, and again, it's not blown out like you're like they're aliens, they've got ray guns. It's it's pretty well done, and so far I'm still loving the series. It's they they do a great job with. Each of the different pieces they're trying to play all at the same time. It's a good balance between okay, where are these guys? Who are these guys doing? It plays out um, a little bit of back and forth as far as the time wise goes. It jumps a few hours back and forth. Still does a really good job. You don't get lost. It's not too busy. No, not at all. That's great. It's good to hear from a comic, especially one that you don't hear too much about. Um, hope this sells pretty well. I'm picking yeah. up the first issue this week actually. Um, what what do you give your rating? Five out of five. Five out of five. I uh, didn't get a chance to read it, but I'm definitely going to try to catch up, let you guys know what we think. I'll read off him. Yeah, <laughs> he always does. So evil, Briston. Um, that's all we have this week. Uh, check us out on our Facebook. Uh, check out Comic Tunes and Toys. Like them. Or don't. Um, we hope you do. Like them. <laughs> you, meet, you meet these guys and you'll like them. I mean, they're pretty cool guys. Who doesn't like them? Um, <laughs> let us know what you guys think. Anything you want us to review, let us know on our email or Facebook or Twitter. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Later. Ladies. Thank <laughs> you.